Rolling back into action after the most difficult of years, Colchester Bowling Club has been going over a century, but now more than ever, like most clubs, it needs new, younger players to ensure a long-term future. Superb. They're soldiering on here, but across the board, a fall in membership made worse by the pandemic means some clubs having to pull out of local leagues as they can't make up teams to compete anymore. Well, I think it just die out. Um, you know, that's a concern. When we joined 13 years ago, we had 120 members uh, and now we've only got in the 40s. And most of them, I would say 85% are over 70. The lockdown hasn't hasn't helped the game. We don't last forever and uh, uh, getting members now is very difficult because people like to be indoors. <laughs> Last century, the sport was thriving. Sailors here in Plymouth, playing in memory of Sir Francis Drake, who famously finished a game despite the approaching Spanish Armada. On Plymouth Hoe, where once he bowled, seamen still match their skill. It's not the first time that bowls has survived threats to its future. You know, for centuries, kings and queens passed laws stopping the lower classes from playing. They wanted people to concentrate on archery skills, more useful in war. And they saw bowls as well as an excuse for unlawful gatherings and conspiracies. Not you, my friends, not you, of course, because now the image couldn't be more different. It's the quintessential British game. And yet the image is part of the problem now. But there is new hope that the sport can now attract more younger players. Coming to the rescue, the likes of 33-year-old England star and national champion Ed Morris. We're here to give bowls a go, right? Who's working tirelessly to get school pupils involved. Bowls has got heavy side and it will always bend on a slight arc towards the heavy side of the bowl. There's a jack down the other end and the aim is to finish as close as you can. Indeed, it was a school taster session that got Ed into the sport when he was just 11. It's a game for anyone. You don't have to be athletic. Uh, men and ladies compete on a level playing field. In a way, hopefully, um, the lockdown might be a benefit to the sport because now is the time where people are looking to reintroduce themselves to society and things like that. Over the next three days, Ed is at the heart of the Big Bowls Weekend initiative to get new people playing. Down, forward and roll. Over 650 clubs in England will be throwing open the doors, offering free sessions, building up interest ahead of the sport's big showcase, the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham next year. Our Commonwealth Games squad, the average age is 33 of the squad, so um, the, the, it is a myth that the sport is solely for old people and we're doing our best to, to show people that, that is a, that's not the truth. The whole family can come down, all ages are able to play to sort of the same level. Other independent initiatives before the pandemic included Festival, shorter games played in bare feet, an idea imported from Australia. And while this week the students at Colchester kept their shoes on, it didn't take long to change their perceptions. It surprised me a lot, generally. At first I was like, uh, when I come here I'm like, oh yes. I thought, like Jamie, it was only for the older generation and I thought that young people wouldn't play it as much. But since I've been here, I've realised it's an amazing sport and it's like something I would continue on with. Other sports is quite like, you know, rough and heavy, whereas this, it was quite nice. There's nice and then there's a showdown with Irene. To get us into the spirit of the bowls big weekend, she challenged me to the best of three ends to prove that while it's a sport you can get playing straight away, it takes years of practice to master the skill and consistency. And even when I got close, you just not be away. <laughs> Winning 4-0, there's no substitute for experience. 